Houdini 21 is out and it has added the ability to use stencils in your renders. So let's take a look at how we can use this with Karma and some of the caveats that come along with this. So I just have this tree here and I have all of our materials that are applied to this tree. If I go ahead and jump into this camera here, you can see the materials are applied, but if I go ahead and click render, you can see that we don't have any opacity applied because I'm not using the opacity in the actual shader. We're going to apply that with the stencil map. And the way that we're gonna do that is with this render geometry settings node. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna rebuild this. Let's do a render geometry settings. Let's wire this in and I'm going to take our leaves and I'm going to wire that into our primitives. And then I'm just gonna copy this path here but under our shading, we can come to this stencil map and we'll click set or create. Once we do that, we have everything disappear in our viewport, which is a bug right now, it seems. We can go ahead and reset our viewport if that bothers you and we can have all that come back. Let's go ahead and just disable that background for now. And that's really all you need to do with this as far as getting the stencil map to work. There are some caveats with that, which we'll go over in just a second, but let's jump into our camera and let's take a look at this. And you can see that now our stencil map is being applied. This renders a lot faster than using opacity. So this is going to be the, like the preferred way if it's just a straight cutout, I would say. But there are some caveats with it, like I said. So I have some groups that are applied to this. So I have our leaves, our leaf groups applied here. If I go ahead and I try to apply this directly to these groups, let's go ahead and let's just drag one of these in here. Let's go ahead and just hit render again. You can see that that no longer works and I can switch this over to the other leaf set and you can see that it doesn't change any of our leaves. Even if I were to restart a render here, it doesn't change any of our leaves. So it seems like right now, we're not going to be able to apply these to groups. It has to be to the actual mesh. So if we look here in our primitives, you see we have this geometry subset, that's going to be our group, but our actual leaf mesh is what we need to apply it to in order for it to actually work as a stencil map. The other thing that we run into, if I go ahead, let's drop down a stop create here. And I can drop down a grid and a UV flatten. Jump back up. If I were to take a material library, let's just apply just a normal karma material to this. And we make this a little bit more rough. And let's just assign that to that stop create. Whoops, let's click the assign. If I drop down a render geometry settings now, and I wanted to use that SOP create for a primitive, and for the shading, we'll go ahead and enable that stencil map. If I wanted to use the output of a cop net. Let's drop this into a null. Let's say out stencil. Let's say we wanted to just use this just to see what this is going to give us. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to write to disk in order for it to actually work properly. Uh, or not work properly, but work reliably. Let's go ahead and output that into our stencil map using that OP colon. If I go ahead and try to render this now, we don't get anything in our stencil map. So that's another limitation of this. It looks like it's not going to be able to actually take our cop net and uh, evaluate it. So we actually have to write that to disk and then, which I've done. And then once we do that, we have this being applied. So one other thing I wanna look at here, let's say we want to, let's just blur this real quick. So if I drop a blur node down, let's look at this and let's crank up the blur and maybe like something like that. If I go ahead and write that to disk again, let's go ahead and restart the render here. See, this gives us something a lot different. We can take this stencil threshold 
and we can start to play with this and that can affect how it's going to eat into our map there. So bring this all the way up to one. It's going to eat everything out, but we've blurred this out a little bit. So you can see that we have kind of more like a, a rounded edges to this and we can play around with that. So you can't, you don't have to have just a straight black and white map. You can actually use a, well, sorry, a straight black or white. You can use a, like a blended value and you can blend between that using this stencil threshold. So you can use that to kind of dial in exactly where you want that stencil to show up. But anyways, that's how you use these stencil maps with Karma. Pretty nifty little thing that you can use to do a number of different things, speed up your render just a little bit. Maybe um, let's say you don't have like geometry uh, for leaves or whatever in your for your trees. You just want to use the stencil map instead of opacity. It's going to speed up your renders quite a bit. So definitely use those if you're using cards for your trees. But anyways, hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.